I, wh where have we made it okay to talk like that? 80 million copies of Fifty Shades of Grey was sold. Uh, any, but Magic Mike was one of the most popular movies. That was a consensual relationship. I didn't read the book, but I assume that was a consensual relationship. No, it was not all the time, and the things that were done were not. Um, the, you look at the vampire uh, trilogy. Unfortunately, we've become a very um, interesting pop culture itself has become very, uh, very stretched in these areas. So this is just a part of it. If you read anything from Sports Illustrated to Playboy's, it's you know, sex unfortunately sells. However, you know, you, you talk about the women that have walked up to. It. Let me tell you. Let me read you this quick, uh, quick note that I got from a mom that says, I don't expect a man to fight for me, I can fight for me, but I sure as heck don't expect a woman to stand up for me. And Hillary Clinton has stood against women, more women than she has stood up for. And I think that's why the, her message right now is not resonating. This is not about sexual assault. This is about one woman who has torn down the four women that were standing there in the booth yesterday, who has looked at a mom in the eye, has looked at several other uh, gold star mothers and angel mothers whose children have been killed by illegal immigrants. That is what is affecting women today on Main Street. And Hillary okay. Clinton, in this type of language that she's doing, and, and I'm sorry, and I, first of all, I'd like to say thank you, Anna, because I think this is a teaching moment for the next generations, and I hope they watch this segment, and the women can, and young ladies can listen to this segment because words aren't going to be used that if any man ever said against me, trust me, uh, I would be extremely angry for him, but it even makes me more angry when another woman uses it to describe another woman. Anna? Yeah, you, it makes you angry except when the person who's running for president of the United States says it. And listen, let me tell you something. Everything you just said is 50 shades of crazy. To compare running for president to an erotic film or an erotic movie, an erotic novel, is crazy. If he wants to be held to that standard, great. Then go write The Art of the Groping. But if you are running for president of the United States, you are a role model. You are a role model for children like your daughter, who you keep quoting. You are a role model for all Americans. You are held to a higher standard. You should not be behaving like if you are in a locker room. You should be behaving like if you are in the Oval Office. Anna, what were you doing 11 years ago? I, I find this, you know, it's funny. On Friday, you saw the sanctimonious high road. All of these uh, never-Trumpers, left wings, all of a sudden, they were holier than thou. And now, 48 hours later, with the cursing and the pictures that are showing up to try to prove their point, it seems like they're in the biggest mud pack ever, mud let pile me tell, ever. Let me ask what you were you doing I, 11 years ago? Oh, Do you want to be held accountable uh, for everything you were doing? Uh, you know, people no, make that's mistakes, why I don't run for and office. he apologized That's why I don't for run for office, God, Scotty. Have you that's ever why asked, I don't run I'm for sorry. office. What, that's what why I am a private citizen, right. because I realize and he that I am not too perfect, at that and I don't want my life on a, on a magnifying glass. Now, I will tell you what. Why you. didn't you answer what was guys. he doing 11 days ago? He was tweeting at 3 a.m. in the morning, okay. discussing tweets about Alicia Machado. So he has not been an angel playing the harp for the last 11 years. He has been lewd and crass the entire time. Appreciate both of you being with us.